Outstanding Young Alum Award. Adrian Smith is a transgender human rights activist and drug policy lawyer. They settled a BC Supreme Court case which guaranteed access to opiate replacement therapy for prisoners in BC's jails. Adrian appeared at the BC Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court of Canada, where they argued about the deleterious effects of mandatory minimum sentences for women, Indigenous people, and drug users. As a trade union activist, they advocate for transgender inclusion in our unions and workplaces. Adrian volunteers at the Catherine White Holman Wellness Clinic, where they give free legal advice and notarize name change documents for trans people. I think my grandmother was always sure that I was going to be a lawyer, and she told me so often. I didn't believe her because I'm a first generation lawyer. Um, but I think I wanted to make real change in the world and I knew some lawyers from the social justice world that I was already an activist in and it seemed like a meaningful way to use tools for good. But I love the work that I do and I know that it actually matters if I get up and write that submission or if I return that phone call, if I go to jail and visit someone who's there. It's not like some of the solicitor's work I was doing earlier in my career when I felt like it was papers talking to each other. There's faces behind these people and they have real issues and I can help. And that feels good. I would say that Adrian is both indomitable, extremely strong, and willing to push things to the absolute limit to get a job done but also willing at the same time to admit their vulnerability. And that I think makes it really easy for clients, for people in the community and for people seeking advocacy and support to relate to them because they come across as a person who is very competent, you're in very good hands, but they're also human. And that's really a remarkable thing, especially in the legal profession. It's really flattering to be getting an award, especially one that has the word young in the title. Um, I don't deserve this award as an individual. I think it's necessarily shared with the queer and trans community that supports me, with the social justice activists who taught me how to do this, and with the group of uh, mostly women lawyers who volunteered somewhere along the way to mentor me and support my career. So thank you on behalf of all of us.